my name's uh, Glenn Davies. I'm managing the meteorological data service, which is what uh, service that provides all the wind data to the teams, along with the pressure data. I'm uh, 35 years old, a New Zealander who's currently based in Spain. My, one of my other jobs here is designing the, uh, the boys, um, along with a team of other people. This instrument at the top is called a wind sonic, and it's, uh, what it's doing at the moment is detecting wind speed and wind direction. And this gets, uh, then in about here we have a compass, and we use the uh, calculation between these two to actually get the, the correct wind no matter what direction the boy is pointing in. So this boy here is only doing wind speed and direction. Um, so you can see here, this is our computer, which is the brains of the system, and here's our little our regulator. And if a computer goes wrong, come on. We could just flick this switch here and we have spare computers on the boat and we just put a new one in and it takes like about 30 seconds. As you can see the boys run by solar panels but uh, we have enough batteries that if the solar panels didn't work or if there was no sun for about three months we're still, the boy would still keep running. All the boys measure wind speed and wind direction and then two of the boys, I'm not sure if you can see this here, so th there's a row of, a uh, half circle of boys in here. We're currently at this one. There's another circle here, and then there's another boy here, here, and here, and here. And this is like an outer grid boys. The race course is normally in here. Now what these boys here will do is they'll tell you more so what's coming. But we also have this boy and this boy also do pressure, temperature and humidity. In the last America's Cup, each of the better performing teams would have about seven weather boats each. And what would typically happen is they'd go out there and you'd have the Prada weather boat beside you, your Lingi weather boat, the Team New Zealand weather boat, all in this little area of maybe an 80 metre radius. And it was decided this was a little bit silly. So then we thought, what other options are there? And uh, one of the most obvious options that came through it was um, having boys permanently deployed out there. The boys, they're on the water 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They also, they have a lot of other advantages and they don't need engines, they don't need people sitting out there in them all day. So the big advantage with the boys is that they work hard and they never take holidays. Off. Yeah. Okay, so at the moment you're looking at the Oracle weather boats. This is their weather team of three boats. You can see they've <laughs> put an anchor right behind our weather boy here and they're comparing the data between their three weather boats and our boy. And then over here, we have Team New Zealand, who looks like they're trying to do the same thing. They will be checking if the wind speed and direction off their boats is the same as our boy. Um, and it will all be coming into one big database, and they can uh, manipulate it and see what's best. You can see, actually, they've got a different style of calibrating at the moment. It looks like they're just going to hang one behind each other. And Oracle, you can see, a side by side. Everybody has a different, different opinion on what's the right and wrong way. The smaller teams, they love it, obviously, because they don't have the uh, infrastructure to put out all that, uh, as many data points as the bigger teams can. Um, and they get a whole package from us. They get the software, they get uh, uh, streaming data. Um, uh, it's, it's pretty much a, more or less a complete system, but it allows you to, to have something that they would never have had on their own.